don't know if you can hear them, but uh, some of them are singing the Catalan hymn. Some of them are chanting, get out Spanish authorities. Whenever a Spanish police helicopter hovers over the uh, Generalitat uh, Plaza, that's uh, the uh, headquarters of the government's right behind me, whenever a, poli a Spanish police helicopter hovers over uh, this square, these protesters keep on booing. As you can hear them now, they're booing at the moment against the Spanish authorities, against Madrid's will to uh, impose direct rule on their region. Now, um, we've talked to some of these students and they've said that uh, no matter Carlos Puigdemont, the president of Catalan, decides. They say that they still will continue to protest. They say that they want their independence. And they say that no matter what he decides, even if he decides early elections, they say they will carry on protesting. As you know, there is another protest that is scheduled tomorrow that's being called by the ANC. Uh, that's one of the uh, independence groups here in Barcelona. And they have called to protest tomorrow at noon. And these students have told us that they will certainly go out in the streets and protest tomorrow. Is there any sign of uh, anti-independence uh, supporters? I mean, we saw that huge rally a couple of weeks ago with, with hundreds of thousands of people uh, pour into the streets of Barcelona uh, to, to, to speak up uh, against uh, breaking away from, from Spain. Yes, well, here right now today as we speak in front of the Generalitat, there are no uh, anti-independence uh, protesters here. They're all pro-dependence. Uh, uh, there is a protest that is scheduled on uh, Sunday, I believe, uh, for the anti-independence uh, protesters. But right now there are none of these. And uh, all of them are, are you know, brandishing flags, charting the Catalan um, hymn. We've talked to civil servants who've told us that uh, they actually got paid early, like a week early before payday by the Catalan government because they weren't sure whether they were still going to maintain their job uh, at the end of the month. They weren't sure whether they were going to get paid or not. So the Catalan government has told them that they were going to pay them a week early. And we've talked to civil servants from uh, the uh, health department, uh, from the uh, foreign affairs department, who've told us that, uh, well, they have signed a, a manifesto, uh, particularly the culture ministry, they've signed a manifesto addressing Madrid authorities and saying that they, civil servants in Catalan, only respond to Puigdemont, to their president. They will not uh, respond to Madrid's orders. They will not back down. So they have signed a manifesto. And we've also talked uh, to uh, these students behind me who said that, you know, no matter what Puigdemont happens, and the likely sol solution that he is going to announce and declare uh, in a couple of minutes' time is that he is likely to say, well, we could have, you know, some early elections. Will that be enough for Madrid? Madrid authorities and the central government have said that that might not be enough and that, you know, they want Puigdemont to give up entirely his plans for independence.